Hello there, welcome to episode 44 of The Final Sect. Today, I have big things on my mind. I have made up my plans for this sect in the Zhandao direction, and it's going to be big. So when I was thinking about what kind of laws I want to explore and find out what they're good for and whatnot, I realized that I don't want to miss out on anything. So my new milestone will be to get myself a golden core cultivator of each supreme law or no a, a primordial spirit with a tier one golden core as good as possible for each supreme law so that we can tinker around with formations like we're obviously i don't know i think i have enough material to work with then i'm pretty sure that it would be better to focus on certain parts when you know what you're doing with these formations but i don't know what i'm doing with formations for real i've just been tinkering around with it and understood the basics but beyond that my my understanding doesn't go too deep so what does that all mean we are going to have to fetch a lot of new disciples because obviously we're really in need of a lot of, a lot of new people because when we look at it, the next thing that will happen is springtime. Springtime, wood element, that means we have to introduce two new fire cultivators in that season. This will be multiple golden core breakthroughs. So, good thing that we still have the majority of the winter left. Which brings me to the next question. Do we want to rebirth Yan Shuang or not? Her golden core quality is mediocre at best, but is also not really bad so let's compare so no you're a bad comparison shuji uh, of course he's absolutely beyond and well baoji's golden core is only a smidge better than than hers so there's merely a difference of ten thousand golden core quality between these two i think I'm going to be rebirthing her nevertheless, because I can do so much better by now. But she's going to be the last person to rebirth, I think. We'll see about that. Currently, there's a lot of the rituals on her shoulders inside the, the sect, so we got to be careful about that. Also, we got to be introducing those people as quick as possible, due to the simple reason that some breakthroughs take time. Sometimes you have to go adventuring for a while before you can be Golden Core and whatnot. Laws are very, very different. So, luckily I have almost only people in my sect which are somewhat decent cultivation material. So, we can easily select a couple of people that we're going to pick up here. So, we have here one ideal candidate for both laws since he's already on 149 compatibility before any of the skill increaser manuals that we can and will learn so this dude will definitely be one of our new cultivators and look at them they're already ready for breakthrough i love it so this is really really nice and her compatibilities are here i'm gonna make her the primordial alchemy law cultivator and him the other thing the next thing though is that means we're gonna need new cultivation chambers lots of new cultivation chambers because we obviously need a home for two new cultivators now i'm excited i really really enjoyed that decision when i was pondering what to do next i i felt like it would be really awesome to have just everything available everything available to just experiment around with that to our own liking and get a really really informed decision about what we're going to do experiment around with uh with formations chop those darn trees <laughs> they're blocking my sight <laughs> so i think the good part about fire cultivators is that it's going to be super easy to gear out their cultivation chambers and 
I also think that we have a ton on, of new goals now to fulfill. One other big thing is that um, Zhuzhi is now at a point where he's capable of maxing out even more of his um, potential. And somebody pointed out that I should have used um, conditioning chant on him before breaking her. Turns out I did. The last pip you cannot learn before you are broken. For, oh, or did I? Maybe I, I, I did miss out on a last uh, level there. I need to recheck if there are limits about when you can learn those pips. I... Chi sense, that was something. Yeah, there was some potential there uh, missing. So this guy could have been even better still. <laughs> Uh, there's always room for improvement. We could have uh, went for way more spectre refining here as well. One good thing about these two uh, people here is they they don't have any med medicine resistances so far. That means everything we're gathering here will be top-notch material for uh, or we can spectre refine the entire doses that's maybe the better way to put it so what we're going to do is we're going to fetch first off new earth flux because it's obvious that we need more of that stuff yan Shuang was gathering that stuff in the past and she will again so her lifespan is uh, relatively depleted but that's okay for now so let's gather those artifacts that are littered all over the place. And I also want to feed Zhuzhi now with inspiration. This guy is now only lacking the primordial spirit stage, but once that's done deal, he's going to have insane amounts of uh, creation power here. So it turns out I don't have large amounts of inspiration anywhere just small portions so too bad mm, central plane is the best uh, address to go to I think right now so we're going to send him over there it's just about six days for him so what about the exploration of the great snow land still a couple of persons left that's okay there is quite good stuff in there to be uh, gathered so I don't mind. Okay. What about the shield legs, though? So. Tempered bone is always welcome. Secret body chi barrier penetration. Not interested at all. Steel bone. Ah, come on. So, such a bad peak. Nah, we're picking up the psychic. Psychic Bone is way too good to pass on it. You might argue that you don't need defense success at a certain point, because when it's capped out, it's capped out. But uh, I've made different experience when fighting the dragon back then. And we have now two extra labels available as well, so... There's quite some potential there, and one rank of Steel Bone was enough after all. So, Corrosive Blood is only good for offensively oriented ones. Endurance. Urgh. I think that was a good good stat, yeah. I cannot remember anymore though, but I vaguely remember it being a good one for for defensive bodies. Boy oh boy, we get those ancestral throwbacks right from the get go. Nice. That's really lucky. So blessed flesh is also done already. So, the ability to resist damage when this bo secret body withstands attacks. Absolutely interesting, the, uh, the skill. Absolutely a good pick, yeah. Couple of things I still have on my memory, you know. Okay, so are these trees chopped? No, they're not. Curses. You lazy. Come on. So, we can host a lot more disciples by now. And we will, because we now need... A lot more cultivators we we don't have enough outer disciples to keep the shop running this way so i'm gonna be setting up another little blueprint of mine there this one 
There we go. Blueprints are really cool. I should have blueprinted my cultivation racks as well, but... Tell you what, we're just going to do that real quick. I mean... I think, no, the problem is we need to blueprint one that's empty. Right, that's the thing. That's why I wasn't doing it, because otherwise you also copy all the designations of the items, and that sucks. And this old design of mine... Well... Yeah, why not? That's pretty cool. So I cannot apply it because it's... Darned. <laughs> yeah, well, whatever. So we're, we're going to build that one uh, by hand. Because I don't want to rip out what I got so far. But the upcoming work, we're going to use the, the good old blueprint here. There we go. So, I like the idea of having that a little bit larger, though. There we go. Door to the southern direction, because it's a bedroom after all. And let's see, the Spirit Stone offcut still lasts. Nice. Okay, that's a lot of work up ahead of us. I enjoy the new direction, nevertheless, because I was really lately pondering about what we're going to do next. Because I don't want to go body cultivating alone, and I I don't feel ready for, for trying to tackle Shandao cultivation yet, okay? Shendao Cultivation, I'm going to pick that up, or at least try to, <laughs> and, uh, but not now, just not now. I'm still suffering from PTSD in that topic, and I, I still need to, to keep my distance from it for a while. <laughs> Alright, Vitalized Flesh, Artifact Suppression Chance, not interested. Blessed flesh, we want that. And enhanced flesh, we want that as well. And another ancestral throwback. So far, every one of my body uh, remolds has yielded me at least one level of these. So the entire um, secret body, almost the entire secret body is already geared out. So psychic bone, definitely going to take that. Because those green green tags, they, they come on by. Grey bone. So definitely a taker. Unhinged bone. Power, courtesy, but reduction of defense stats, so totally not interesting. So another grey bone stack, but turns out <laughs> with the bone I wasn't uh, I wasn't too lucky there, so let's do another eight acupoint remote there. Okay, I missed the sweetest spot there, but whatever. Let's ask around in the City of Abundance for or best cultivation candidates. So, I'm always looking for people with a high base stat of luck. Perception and intelligence, that looks somewhat interesting, but... Yeah, well, oh yeah, that's one good candidate. Yeah. Apart from that, I like that one. And I think I'm going to give her a chance. We don't need to have all people on a very, very high luck uh, score now. I also came up with the realization that I'm afraid my sec needs to resort to Hellgating from here on. Because I don't know how, the, how we're supposed to get all those uh, Angish Soul Gems together that we're going to need for the whole development process here. Because if I want to set up that many cultivators, I'm also going to need a terrible lot of 
Angish soul gems for all of that spectre refining that we're doing. So, I'm not getting enough just from my attackers alone, that's for sure. Okay, G cushion. And as soon as that's done, we're going to blueprint that thing. Well, on the other hand, I might use just the, the other blueprint. It ain't bad, you know? Ain't bad at all. It's just a little bit more spacious than this one on the inside. But the total footprint is smaller, actually. Either way, I'm going to build that. So these will be the new homes for the fire cultivators. The good thing about fire cultivation is we just need spirit wood. Of course, we can set up more... Uh, it's the rest of the mini-universe, probably. I mean, we can look for gnarled root and such things. Definitely want to go for spirit root planting at some point in the near future as well. But one thing at a time. So, material. Spirit wood. This is not material. Raw material it is then, isn't it? Yes, it is. So, I don't know how many we need to withdraw, but let's make it 50-ish. So, we're going to lose those out of the cursor. Designator because I didn't click properly. Buttons in this game are a nightmare. Okay. Just plastering the place right away with spirit stone. Uh, spirit stone. Spirit wood locks. We can still later down the road go for a for this room here for the sake of the break verse. It's no problem. We will use these arrays, though, for other people, for their general cultivation. I think that's going to be a pretty good way of getting the job done. Oh, yeah. Speaking about getting the job done, you guys were super helpful with me. And it turned out that, obviously, Georgie's problem of the smelting heart can only be, only be resolved with a panacea pill, which turns out to be a very, very rare and valuable good so, well, we should definitely try to get that alchemist of ours going. Because that should give us the ability to craft these by ourselves. Let's see if we have some of these here available right away. This is not the right uh, uh, thing here. Treasure is? Treasure is also not the right thing, isn't it? If it's not medicine, then it's a pill. Exactly. Duh. The wording in this game gets me s time after time. Been playing this game for such a long time and still. Let's try that search bar here. Panacea. So, obviously, we don't own any panacea pills. Sad. But it doesn't come too. Uh, too much of a surprise. Okay, well, at least the spirit stone block production is going nuts by now, due to the fact that he doesn't need to go for the hauling of his base material. But we're. Oh, never mind. I already got one. We're going to issue more jobs of these at different workstations. There we go. Probably we'll build up another stonework outside. They don't need to be in a room. They, I don't know, do they gain any advantages of being in a room? I never really did any research about that. Whole workshop feng shui thing and all. Either way, it is time to do the promotion. So I said that you are going to be the emotion severer, right? 
and you were going to be the alchemist, right? So I'm gonna start with her because she's uh, the less compatible candidate. There we go. So you're. Wait a sec. Here, there she is. And... We're gonna set her on a cultivation regime. Even though her, her chi cushion ain't uh, ready yet. But at least she can have her bed already. Oh, the new people are arriving. Brilliant. So these are all the candidates that we're picking up. Brilliant. Ah, oh, so good. Let's use that sect size. I never did that. I always uh, was baking small, um... That's a German saying. Uh, I was... <laughs> I was always keeping myself small. Because it, uh, the game overwhelmed me a lot. And lately I realized that now we're going to go for the, the, big, uh, the big thing. I really just hope that they, they could just uh, focus on that spirit stone chi cushion. Oh boy, I am wasting time on a little mirror's time scale. There we go. There's the steel bones we've been looking for. But the investment into um, psychic bone stacks, I am positive that I won't be regretting that. There we go. So, let's pause the game real quick. So, these work quite similar to these, just with this defense success line in, in mind. So we're looking for maxing out this stat, and maxing out that stat. But the interesting part about this game is you could technically use this also as a attack technique due to the fact that we got ancestral throwback on basically all now well three quarters of the body parts involved. Yeah, this is going somewhere. All right, let's go for the steel bone and I'm not going to involve any further essences because I figured that it doesn't feel as if it would bring me that much. I don't want to temper flesh and bone too much because it all increases consumption rates. You don't need that. It doesn't really benefit you too much. Okay, so that fine lady now finally has her cultivation abode ready. And from here on, it's just going to be gathering inspiration. Let's see, is there a artifact there you can wield artifact turned because as a fire cultivator earth element stuff is good for you we're also going to craft a real quick artifact out of uh, poop why not and uh, just for the next uh, fire cultivator but although I have already one uh, other dung artifact. Ah, oh, well. It'll be all good. So, let's see. Do I have anybody in the... So there's nobody specifically tasked with these. These get done from time to time, as I see. So we're just going to issue more of those jobs well we're looting more of that stuff great so more spirit stone block it is this turns into one major resource here in the in the sect so to take care of that it's always around now then we're also going to assign three molds on all body parts here involved. So her queue is filled with useful and meaningful things. Live long, strange little elf. 
I've bombed down so many of you. It would be probably effective and efficient, but I don't mind you for all kicking around. Central dung. <laughs> Those names, they just get me. <laughs> Welcome to Dung Central, boy. <laughs> Alright. I'm, I'm done with it now. Feel free to, to send your dung, to send your dung uh, puns into the comment section. You're most welcome. Alright, so let's slap down another chi cushion. And turns out I don't need to blueprint anything. I have already a really decent blueprint. I just uh, never used it because it was silly. Well, whatever. This is way better now. So as soon as this uh, thing is finished, we're going to... Why are you slacking in work? What the hell is uh, wrong with you? Why are you eating dung? There's more than enough food around. What's wrong with you people? Why are you dumb? Well, that's the next generation of... Uh, of cultivators here. Eating dirt. <laughs> well. So. Path of True Fire. Well, let's see. It's merely a chi thing. So, one of the very first things that I want to teach Zhuji while we're busy with uh, other things. It's not as if we aren't busy with other things. We are going to teach him the spiritual breath chant because, you know, it's just basics. Spiritual. Let's put a star on that one. Oh, Primordial Talisman. So, I vaguely remember... Is she already... Did I teach her those, or didn't I? Ah, <sighs> I... Don't know anymore. We can check, though, quite easily, so... She'll have to pick a talisman, so... I don't think that I learned the the ones that I wanted to learn. Oh, she just dumped all of her chi into that. I gotta gotta be smarter than that next time. Okay, so this wonderful woman needs another dosage of chi, uh, inspiration, and then I need to remember that I meant to teach her more talisman recipes. Probably the hardest part. But let's start with the inspiration part. <laughs> All right, I love this game. It has so many different layers. The only thing that sucks about it is that it stands in its own, it, it, it falls over its own feet quite often. Let's put it down like that. But I'm really, really curious to see what ACS2 will be all about. But up until then, we're gonna, gonna have some good time here, hey? So, more and more Spirit Stone blocks are being made now. That's good. And we got 13 days of winter remaining. That's also good. And I hope she's going to start cultivating soon. Yeah, she's uh, gaining... She's gaining points. So at this point, I really should be also setting up a spot. You know what? We're going to make something here. Manuals and talismans. Let's do it like that. This room is so huge up until um, further notice. It won't hurt having that there stored as well. Because this way I can keep track of what I have in terms of talismans. So, the sect is getting larger and larger, man. 
I, I have huge fields over here. I have uh, this, this whole cultivation complex will now spread on over all of it in this direction. It's cool. It's really cool. But I think it is a good a good idea to to just have every cultiva cultivator once if you want to check out what's what's good and what you want to have. I really think I finally have made a decision that'll make me happy. All right, so oh, look at that! That base cultivation array isn't isn't working uh, too bad. Nice. So, my good friends, it is sadly time yet again to say goodbye for today. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you're going to come back next time as well. Feel free to drop me your comments, thumbs ups, or subscriptions if you haven't done so already. Big big thanks to all the supporters out there. I deeply, deeply appreciate, and I want to point towards Patreon, Paypal, and buy me a coffee if you want to join on, and I'd be really happy if you'd give them a look. Either way, thanks for being around until the very end of this video. We're going to do great things next episode. Talisman crafting, new cultivators, lots of things. I'm looking forward to it. See you there, and have a great day.